Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect your Xiaomi 14T and 14T Pro to PC and how we can transfer data. So in order to do that we can for instance use the USB cable that should be included inside the box. You can connect your smartphone to your PC directly using the USB cable. So let me actually do that. It can be PC, laptop or any computer actually. Now once you do that you will be charging. So we will need to switch from charging to the option to allow us transfer files. So what you can do is open notifications, you will find charging this device via USB. You want to tap on this notification in order to switch from no data transfer to file transfer slash Android Auto. And by doing so on your PC you should be able to open the internal uh, storage and you can go through these all these folders of your uh, smartphone and also pretty much transfer anything you need from uh, from your PC or laptop into the device. And the other way that allows you to connect to PC is by using the link to Windows app uh, so that you don't have to use the USB cable of course. And in order to find it we need to go to the settings, then if you go to more connectivity options then you will find link to Windows over here. And if you go over here you will need to sign in or sign in using the QR code on your PC. So you will need to get the link app on your PC or laptop. The app is actually called Phone Link. So if you are on Windows, then you want to go to the Microsoft Store and download the Phone Link app. And after that, you, what you need to do is simply follow the instructions once you um, once you get the app and get the QR code. So if you choose to get the QR code at the bottom over here, you also have the instructions and that on your PC you need to go to this link to open Microsoft Phone Link, or you can, like I said, uh, go to the uh, Microsoft Store and download it over there. Just type phone link and you should be able to easily find it if you don't have it already on your PC. And after that you should be able to connect to your PC. However, the options might be limited. Therefore, I still recommend using the USB cable as it is pretty um, unbeatable in that case. You just connect and you have access to pretty much everything immediately. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.